All right, what's up, everyone? My name is Drexens, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. We are going to open Kanashiro's briefcase and see what's in it. So here we go. Have you learned anything new? It's sealed by a rotary lock. We'll need the combination to open it. We could just break it. A rotary lock, huh? I love how nobody cares at all that Morgana's dying. <laughs> I knew it. How did you get that? Because she cheated. I simply memorized the combination. I saw him open and close it so many times after all. Well, that's scary. But amazing, too. Don't be so smug about it, dingus. Oh, that burns. Hey, hurry up and open it. Oh, my God. Got to start oh. my timer again. How much is this? I believe one stack is one million yen. Can I keep it? Huh? One, two, three, six. I don't think that's right. Thirty million. Oh, yes, it is. I'm stupid. Even after splitting it, we still each get five million. Holy shit. It's gonna be deluxe pork soup combo for me from here on out. You have to think bigger than that. And 15, 20, 25, 30. She's right. I don't know why you're gonna give Morgana any because he's a cat. Not to bring down the excited mood, but does this money look real to you? What? It's Monopoly money. Children's Bank! <laughs> oh, for real? Uh, yeah. I guess this represents how everything he did was an act to make himself seem tough. No! <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Well, hey, at least it feels like we totes busted this case, right? Well, you could sell the briefcase, though. What do you mean? Is busting a case good or bad? Both! <laughs> to think the reward for the Phantom Thieves is feeling they totes busted the case. Shut the... <laughs> uh, how funny. You need to stop. We're not materialistic, though I would have taken the money. Uh, hold on a second. Even though the contents are nothing more than trash, the case itself is quite nice. All right, then, let's sell it. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted. <laughs> By the way, Morgana, have any of your memories returned? No, not at all. I feel like we would have. That would have been like one of the first things he mentioned if it did happen. Come on. Did that hit to your head make you forget even more? No. He just He's didn't remember any. Talk. You're not the one who lost your memories. You have amnesia? What is Ryuji reading? Something like that. He does remember searching for treasures, though. Hmm. I hope your memories return soon, then. Well, you're nicer about it than most others, so... So... What happens next? First, we wait for Kaneshiro to have his change of heart. Oh, it's gonna be big this time. People are gonna make a huge deal out of it for sure. Nobody knows who he is. Hey, you know what Kaneshiro said at the end there? I, we're getting to the part of the game that I don't remember super well. So I don't remember how this goes. Criminal using the metaverse? Yes. Yes, I was bothered by that as well. No point mulling over it now. Let's wait and see how Kaneshiro's change of heart goes first. We should probably just lay low for a while. I never thought I'd hear those words coming from you. Another shot at Ryuge. About my request. How long is it going to take? This incident happened at the school you're supposed to be presiding over. Excuse me, sir. We need to speak with you at once regarding the fishing organization operating out of Shibuya. 
fine. I hope you remember who gave you that position to begin with. Our other operative gave us a list of candidates without delay. How different from a certain someone. Uh... Yes, of course. Please continue your investigation. All right, man. Oh god, I just hold on to something. Uh, we did all we can, right? All we need to do now is await the results. I wonder what's gonna happen when he has the change of heart. Do you think he'll turn himself in? Seems likely. I hope he spills everything to the police. Well, there are still a few lingering worries, but I believe we did well. We did. Right? We were going up against a real criminal, after all. Yes, we managed to steal the heart of a notable lawbreaker. I can't wait to see Akechi's face when he hears the news. Honestly, I just hope that people see who it... Wait, oh, who see it gets some courage from the news. There's still one thing that worries me, though. Do you mean how someone is using the metaverse for evil? It would be seriously unforgivable if someone was really doing that. Yeah, we can think about it later. For now, let's just wait for Kanashiro's change of heart. Very well. Nicely done, everyone. All we need to do now is let the results come rolling in. Yeah, I know. Great today, though. Public opinion of us should skyrocket after this. I did that pretty speed style. That was the fastest I've done a palace. Let's see, what should we do now? Well, we wait. Is there anybody that I can hang out? I can't leave. God fucking Christ. Ooh, what's the Power Rangers? Blue Swan and Pink Argus talk about love. Mm -hmm. Feather Argus and Swan join in as well. No villain can withstand the power of Girl's Night. Revive and fight, Phoenix Rangers. Next episode, I want a love so strong it bring me back from the dead. That sounds... Sounds good. Sounds cool. I'm gonna make coffee because I used all of it going through that palace. Yes, alright. I'm gonna have to build up all of my coffee now. All of it. It's all gone. That Kaneshiro truly was an evil stain on society. You don't gotta be like that, man. Same with Kamoshida and Matarame, too. They hurt and exploited others just to satisfy their desires. Still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? Bystander effect. Also, they don't care. Who's scared? So it's because they don't have the courage. Yes. Humans are so weak. What the crap, dude? I'm a human. Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human? You don't care. When I touched the treasure. Some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but... You lying freak. I really may not be human. Just be confident. Who do you think you're talking to? Morgana, a cat. Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves, after all. I, I don't know why that makes you human. But, uh, yep. Believe what you want, Morgana. Believe what you want. All right. I almost never use melee attacks. I feel like I should. Come on. But it's not good for you to stay up. I'm asleep. stupid. Let's go to sleep. Well, you're sleeping right where I'm trying to sleep, ass. Oh god. I'm falling. It's been a while. What's up, man? What's up, nose man? Our master wishes to speak with you. Heed his word. You don't need to hit the cage every time. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. Thanks, I'm man. I'm glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. I don't know why you two are mean. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? Weren't so much whispers as directly telling me, but yes. Oh, the other- Ow, oh, I hit my mic. Even a chicken 
could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. I wasn't. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Why are you people so rude to me? What did I do? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If awesome. you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. Cool, maybe we can be best friends. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. Why do you get such a creepy face, it man? It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Cool, thanks, man. Ooh, what is it? Increases XP, bro. Oh. All right. I thought it was. Time, inmate. What's time? Return to your work. I was. You didn't even tell me what it was. <sighs> Look at us. We're twenty-one percent just. Nah. <laughs> I'm still asleep. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah. There's something I feel I should let you know. Oh, what? Kanashiro contacted me. Ooh. Kanashiro? He said he's calling off our debt. It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. And, um, my sister and her team have taken him into custody. What the hell? What? It appears they did not want him to disappear, if you know what I mean. His group was called a mafia, after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? Seems like. It's hard to say for sure yet. I see. What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kanashiro mentioned? I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah. I mean, it... It, I, it does seem like his heart changed, but... Okay. I think you may already know this. But I've been ordered by Principal Kopayakawa to look for the culprits. Uh, is he on to us? We seem to be fine for now, but we can't let our guard down. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend my time in the student council room. If there's ever an emergency, feel free to come find me there. Yeah, okay. Well, that reminds me, though. I'm the Shut the- hey. Shut! What's this? Akechi? Oh. I just want to talk to a cat. <laughs> uh, who's at the school gate? Is it my doctor man? Maruki? Oh, frick off. I'm gonna go hang out with Yusuke. You're not Yusuke. I went the wrong direction. Yusuke! Yusuke! All we have to do now is wait. What an overarching time. Way. Meanwhile, I'm here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? I came to see you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. I would like to speak with you about the painting I developed in Mementos. Do you have time? Yes? <laughs> Let's fly! Please hear me out. I mean, it looks cool as frick. This is the completed form of my draft earlier. I would like your honest opinion, if you would. Uh... Enigmatic. Yes. As it should be. I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. Regardless, this is how I choose to ex interpret the idea of a desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos foray. I've grown to understand the intricity, intri, 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 
intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. Ren, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming par public art ex exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. Discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that re revitalizes my slumbering art career. I can't wait. Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment. Oh wait, I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed. What the crap is wrong with my brain? I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. No problem, man. Hey, nice! Alright. That's... I wait, okay. I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. Why well, I mean, you see I, you? What? I wanted to talk to you, man. It was... I... It's fine. This guy didn't seem to know what's happening. Why did I leave to come back? I want to thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was able to... I was even able to come up with a new interpretation, thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. I shall keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, leave it to me. Your presence stimulates my senses. I look forward to seeing what other inspirations may come. I can hardly wait to hear back about the public exhibition, so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again. Expect good news. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Is Sunday the time when I can go to speak with my son man? My son man confidante? Uh, you're back. Oh my Christ, what now? You know, I've been curious. What's Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? I imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one interest very interesting classmate. She's a female shogi player and seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Are you talking about Hifumi Togo? I remember hearing she's a student at Kosei. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around right now. That's... Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. She is not the kind of person to let others close to her. It sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits. After all, it's said she is a lone genius. However, I have heard she is commonly seen at the church over in Kanda. For real? We gotta go! You'll probably get struck down by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. That ain't it. This is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, Shogi is a kind of battle, right? She's gotta know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh... That is quite the stretch. Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. You guys are gonna pay for this one day. Ren, you go spy on her for me. Find out if she's really as cute as they say she is. Uh, an enemy with but a moment's inspiration. Yeah. Those might actually be good tactics to know for our work as the Phantom Thieves. So you guys just tore Ryuji down, even though he was right. Said is what I'm hearing. Church in Kondo, right? We should check it out when you have the time. Yeah, let's check it out. I'll go. Right now. I'll go right now. I'll go right now. Okay, never mind. Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping, but like, shut up. Oh no! Uh oh. What are your I have things to do. This guy's more important. He's gonna be gone in a minute. Fly away! The most important thing is acting not in self-interest, but for the greater good. I... That is the mindset we politicians must instill in our constituents. Okay, I'll queued up. <laughs> Okay, we should be able to get a lot of interesting footage. It is no good Torah, after all. Advocate an overly optimistic policy only to lure in voters during the electric... S electric season? What happened? Election season. That's how no good Torah thought and operated 20 years ago, making an... making unachievable pledges. Hmm, this isn't how I saw this going. 
If you make a promise, you must keep it. If you make a mistake, you must atone for it. These are the basic human principles that we all... we have all learned from the youngest of ages. Boring. She's making some pretty good points, don't you think? That's why it's all useless. Man, frick off! It seems like they only wanted to get some footage of the old no good Torah. Very disrespectful. However, I've been distancing myself from that. Do you think I've regained my confidence? Yes. Maybe. Well, I must... I must have, if you think so. However, I will never forget the disgrace I suffered as no good Torah. Hey. Can I tell you a story? Sure, man, whatever, man. I mentioned this before, but 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to become a Diet member. However, I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. <sighs> and I wanted to be in a position of power, and I was obsessed with the glamorous lifestyle. I thought only of being popular. I truly was no good Torah. Hey. Learn from me. Don't let being a member of the Diet be your only goal in life. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Being ambitious and striving to add advance in the political world will change your outlook on life. Yoshida eagerly gave me advice. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Thank you. Good advice. Occasionally raises the chance of an enemy giving you a rare up. That's pretty good. All right. Look at me. We're already best friends. You've given some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. I can't believe you lost the last two elections. Hmm? You're... Mr. Kuromoto's grandson. That's correct. I'm his grandson, Benzo. Does he know that you're here speaking with me now? I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. This must be your secretary, huh? I heard he's been helping you out a lot lately. What? You know about him? My grandfather was recently hospitalized, and you've become the topic of our conversations. I'd like to talk with you again sometime. I learned a lot from your speech today. Okay, bye. Mm. Mr. Kuromoto spoke of me? What? Matsushita. Sorry, I have to take care of some business. Let's wrap this up for today. Cool, dude. Cool. Watch this. Never mind, don't watch. Don't watch it yet. Well then, I'll don't see watch you it. Again. I really thought my charm was going to go up. It didn't, though. I feel a fool. Oh my god, what now? <gasps> I made I'm... it on time. Oh. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. Shut up. I can't be late today, too. <laughs> uh. You seem busy. Well, I don't deny it. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. You're welcome. That the Phantom Thieves are... Given your work? I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Ah, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. Yes. Yes, Akechi. We are the best of friends now. So sorry. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people say that the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful. Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Now then, Mr. Amamiya. Why do you call on me? This is like my Japanese class all over again. Which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about the weather? Dogs. Dogs. Snails, you rain salt down on them. This is it. Good. That's right, raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs mean it's pouring rain. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of rain resembles that of a do of dogs and cats fighting. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dogs' weather too. Oh, did you get our credit? Oh, shut up. Nice Everybody needs to shut up. I'm just a genius. Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches, and in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Each country has its own way of it describing heavy rain, and its own metaphorical substitute falling from the sky. Mm. Oh yeah, over here they say that when a cat washes its face, it rains. What? 
I wash my face every day because I like being clean, and that's not true at all. Oh, uh, but I'm not a cat, of course. Morgana? You can't keep doing this to yourself and us. You lie. You lie every day about yourself and everything else. Mm. Yeah, it's raining. Weather very well, ma'am. Just yeah, shut the frick up, man. Shut. This is why I hate rainy season. Oh, I wish I could hang out with my friend. Okay, that's all the time I have for this episode. So thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you're not already, if you are, ring the bell, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.